So Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Now we're going to do some mobilization with movement. And some of the keys for that, we know it has to be pain free and we do not let go with, during the movement. And it's an active patient. The patient helps out and give a little overpressure at the end. But the idea, the patient's involved with you. So what we're going to do for this for Tyler to get internal rotation. Let's say he's having pain with internal rotation. We could strap him down. We have a strap going on below ASIS, lock his pelvis down. Other hand comes through, we bring his leg up to about 90. And from here, let's say he's having trouble doing it, I can get him nice and close, stabilize. And at the same time as I can give that, give my little bit of lateral distraction as he goes into internal rotation. So Tyler, what I want you to do is rotate your leg in, or out actually, and then come back. And we're gonna maintain that position as we do it. So we give a little bit of a glide. As he does it, we're doing rotation. Further, further, further. Good, and come back. And the key is, again, for this is to keep that lateral glide, keep the movement, make it active, make sure it's pain-free. And again, do not let go until you're done with it. Probably do anywhere between six and 10 reps is good enough. Then you go back and you would do your test and see what his passive rotation was like. And again, remember with rotation, we talk about it in another video, but make sure rotation, we're getting rotation through the femur because a lot of people will start doing it through the knee. So I like you to control it. My other hand actually helps it. And we get him into that range. Okay, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.